Pico Janitor by Peter Platy is a classic arcade game for Pico 8. Let's give it a look. Welcome to Pico Playtime, the video series where I play through some cool Pico 8 games to show to you love the people. Today's game is called Pico Janitor and it's by the developer called Peter Platy. Let's get this one loaded up. I was convinced all the way through my first playthrough of this game, I was convinced that this was like a demake of a classic 80s arcade game um, that I guess would have been called Janitor. It would probably have been made by Williams in about 1984. Uh, turns out it's not. This is an original game. Now, when I get into the game, you will see why I thought that this was a demake. Uh, here we are on the title screen. We've got some very familiar 8-bit look, eight looking bricks. We've got a lovely sparkly um, <laughs> logo for the game. And as you can see, it's been made by Peter Platy, 2022 to 2024. Let's get into the game then. Here we go. So, we have got a few different modes. Now, I didn't find um, one of the modes until after I'd played through the game. Uh, so we've got arcade mode, which I have played through, which is a lot of fun. I'm going to be showing you that. Uh, you can press left and right to change into time mode. We've got like a speed run time attack mode. No lives, just happy thoughts and beat the clock as your objective. That that was a really good sentence in my head. Um, we've also got Zen mode, which is basically practice mode. You can play through any of the levels, and there are 30 levels, count them. You can play through any of the levels to practice, and it just loops. So you can try out new tactics and ideas there, or just chill. Uh, I don't want to chill, though. I want frantic arcade mode. So let's get into it. Um, in the story of the game, there's the story. Blink and you miss it. Um, our... Plucky Janitor, um, his girlfriend has been kidnapped by a bug and it's our job to um, to clean floors, hurl brooms and squash bugs. That's just what happens in the life of a janitor. Um, as you can see, the way that we progress, we have to run along all of the platforms, cleaning them, turning them um, gold and sparkly, and we have to throw our broom at bugs now you can see it tells you where the bug is going to spawn so you can kind of pre broom them so that they um get splatted as soon as they appear and um, if you don't do that um the bugs will make a complete mess of the level i'll show you what happens now and um, in between some levels i think it might be if you complete the level without dying or complete the level quickly maybe i'm not sure in between some levels um, you have some extra power-ups that you can pick um, extra life, you're probably not going to need that. My first playthrough, I had more than enough lives. You don't need extra lives. Slow bugs, sounds good, but the best one that I found is two brooms. So we're going to pick two brooms so that we have two brooms. Um, yeah, I'm not going to take out those bugs. Um, and you see that they ruin our day because look, every time the bug runs, they dirty the floor, and we have to um, we have to deal with that. Um, fortunately, as you can see, I've played through this game already, so I can kind of I can kind of guide you through it. Um, there is a little bit of a learning curve to the game. Um, that's partly what gives it. <laughs> that's partly what gives it the old school feel um, because it's very manic. Um, you've got to keep a lot of plates spinning. Well, you've got to keep three plates spinning. You've got to clean the floors. You've got to um, throw your broom and not hit anything and die. Um, so yeah, it, it's it's good. Once you've learned once you've learned the rules of the game, uh, it becomes very quick and very natural. Uh, the feel of the game is perfect. The move movement of the character is great. The jumping feels really nice. Um, yeah, it's like a classic arcade game. Um, I can never remember the names of these games. There's about four or five, isn't there? Let me just turn it down a bit so I feel like I'm shouting. Maybe I'll just turn my speakers down because that's on low volume. Um, yeah, it's it's got that classic kind of arcade feel, hasn't it? Where we're a single screen platformer. We're kind of doing the, the Pac-Man thing. Whoops, that was rubbish. We're kind of doing the Pac-Man thing by taking out enemies that are going to respawn but also having to visit all of the 
all of the the, um, the parts of the level. That's very Pac-Man-esque, isn't it? Um, and it's nice to be reminded of Pac-Man. Um, oh, but these bugs. Oh, <laughs> these bugs are tricky. Um, yeah, if you don't realise that you can throw the brooms on top of where they're going to spawn, it gets extremely difficult. Um, what I did find is that... Um, Oh no, no, no! This is what happens when things go wrong. Um, if you um, do not keep on top of the bugs, um, you will struggle. Um, what happens is, if you get hit by a bug, um, oh, this level's a lot harder than I remember it. If you get hit by a bug, you respawn. Um, the respawns are very um, forgiving. And usually when you respawn, there's like a, a delay before the first enemy appears. That's usually enough time to kind of finish off the level. So unless you're doing really badly, you're unlikely. Or I found that I was unlikely to have to use more than one life on a level. Like I say, this isn't such a hard game. That's possibly what gives away the fact that this isn't a DMIC. Because if this was made in the 80s, this would be insanely difficult. You would have one life and that's it probably. And the bugs would probably be twice as fast. Um, as we get further into the game, um, things become more frantic. As you can see, the levels are becoming a little bit more, a um, um, little bit more complicated. The bugs, they start spawning a lot faster. Um, fortunately, you can get into a kind of um, get into a kind of flow with the levels where you can kind of alternate between throwing a broom, cleaning some floor, picking your broom up and throwing it again, it's really cool. When you, when you get into it, it's just good, okay? Um, yeah, this is, this is a, if this isn't obvious from my enthusiastic description of the gameplay, this is a really good game. It's really fun. Uh, it's very original because like I say, I thought it was a D-make. This feels like a proper arcade game to me. Um, yeah, and oh, the reward, the sense of reward when you um, clear a level really um, efficiently like that. Very nice. But yeah, um, really good game. Um, if you want to play the game, um, you can play it over on Splore like I'm doing. Or you can play it on um, Peter Platy's itch page. Link down below as usual. Um, I like the little bits of music in between as well. The little um, jingles. Um, I think that's Redetsky March, isn't it? I think. Um, oh, these things. I don't know what these are supposed to be. I think that they look a bit like monkeys. Um, I don't think they are meant to be monkeys. Anyway, they're a pain in the neck. Don't know what I was trying to do there. They're a pain in the neck because they hop around. They don't dirty that much of the floor. You see there when I respawned? That was quite easy then, wasn't it? Yeah, they don't dirty too much of the floor, but the hopping around is really irritating. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why you get pickups or power-ups rather because I died on that level. So why did I get a power-up? Maybe it's every 10,000 points or something. It's something or other. Um, anyway, um, you can probably work out whether or not you um, want to play this game or not. I would highly recommend it. It's It's got such a great feel to it. Um, it's really fun. You see, those green things, they just, they get on my nerves, they do. You see how the two brooms is good? Look, because we can... Um, we can like pin down certain areas. I think it would be nice if you kind of got a little bit of an indication as to um, where they were going to spawn next. So you could kind of maybe play a little bit more strategically. Um, you can obviously see where they're going to appear like immediately. But it'd be nice to maybe if they went in an order maybe. I don't think they do go in an order. If they do, I haven't figured that out. Um... Yeah, there's a lot of fun gameplay to this game. There's a lot of depth to the gameplay. Um, the presentation of it is great. Like I say, it looks like an 80s arcade game. The colours are super bright. The animation, there's a little bit of animation. It's really nice. The sprites are really charming. I love the way that the janitor, there's like the blue janitor and the pink janitor. That's really cute. If you, if you play in um, time attack mode, you get to play as the pink janitor. And I think the sound effects might be slightly different. And yeah, the bleepy bloopy sound effects, 80s arcade all the way, so great. And there's even, there's even some tastefully applied particle effects. You know how much I like a good particle effect. Um, I think it's Peter Platy's first Pico 8 game. 
Um, there are a few, not bugs as such, but there are a few little weird things. Like um, when you play time attack mode, um, it, it comes up with the dev kit keyboard thing. Don't know why, doesn't need to. Um, so, but yeah, there are, it's very, very well made. Um, the feel of the game is great. The um, presentation is great. All the graphics and the music, really spot on. Um, oh, the jumping feels so good. Uh, a game like this lives and dies on the quality of its jump. And um, this feels great. The movement of the character is so nice. No momentum, as you can see. And a nice, positive jump. Really good. It's You can, you can feel really precise when you're moving around. It's really great. Uh, I kind of wish there was more kind of level variety. Maybe like more graphics to the levels. More different level looks, maybe. But again, the restricted graphics make it feel more like one of these 80s... Um, arcade games where they had limited kind of room for sprites anyway and they can have to reuse a lot of assets so it kind of it kind of it fooled me but yeah it would be kind of cool to see some different graphics and things i like the power-ups as well the parts are really cool makes it a little bit gives you a little bit more options just kind of wish how you actually got them um there's so much you could add to this game to to improve it um like a two-player mode that would be fantastic. It'd also be an absolute nightmare. I've um, never made a two-player game, but it, I imagine it's an absolute nightmare to make. Uh, I did try and make one uh, and gave up almost immediately. Um, oh, these red bugs are the worst. Um, it's funny because the red bugs are actually the first enemies that you encounter in the game, and I think they're probably the hardest. <laughs> Um, they can certainly dirty the most of the level at the at one go. You see there, when you die and respawn, you can kind of get through. It's a very forgiving game, this. I mean, I'm all the way through at the moment to level 17, you see. Uh, so, you can play through this game pretty easily, pretty casually. Like I said, there's different um, game modes to um, extend the lifespan of the game. It's always nice seeing extra game modes. But um, yeah, the more you play, the more kind of natural it becomes. It's really good. It's just, just really good. Just check this game out, okay? I've given you all the links. You know what to do. Um, I don't think you need me telling you any more about this game. I think I've said everything that is really cool about this. So go and check it out. Um, Peter Platte has got um, an itch page with some other game projects on there. Go and check them out, please. Um, he's also got a YouTube channel, which has posted nothing to and... It says on there, why you even come here? And that's a good question. Why have you even come here? Anyway, I digress. Uh, this is a real fun game. Really cool 80s arcade feel to it, as I've said many times. The gameplay is excellent. The presentation is excellent. It's it's such a cute little Pico 8 game. It's brilliant. Go and check it out. Click the links down below. You can thank me in the comments. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to um, join the Pico Playtime Discord, there is a link in the description down below. You can join there. And uh, yeah, don't forget to support these developers. Leave a nice comment on the itch page. Why not post your high score? See if you can beat mine. Um, and yeah, that drives up engagement for the game. It will bring the game to more people's eyes so we can get these games out there for people to play. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you again very soon.